Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2021 Toyota Camry XSE V6, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Toyota Camry is a mid-sized family sedan that slots between Toyota's smaller Corolla and the larger, more luxurious Avalon. This latest Camry generation came out for the 2018 model year. In many ways, it's the safe choice in this class, and many shoppers are drawn to Toyota's reputation for reliability. For 2021, the Camry gets some minor styling updates inside and out. Toyota has restyled the front bumper and grille, and there's a newly optional 9-inch touchscreen display that's positioned higher on the dash than the standard 7-inch screen. The 2021 Toyota Camry is a midsize sedan available in six trim levels, LE, SE, SE Nightshade, XSE, XLE, and TRD. A four-cylinder and an available V6 engine are offered. You can also get all-wheel drive with the four-cylinder engine. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Toyota Camry. It's a mid-size sedan. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. So the other day, I was out at Lowe's in my truck, which I like to take pictures of. And when I turned around after I'd taken a picture of my truck, I turned around and I saw a picture of a brand new uh, 2021 Toyota Camry TRD. And that got me to thinking about how nice looking they are. Matter of fact, I did a build-in price review of a 2020 Toyota Camry in the TRD trim and I really like it and that's why we're here today because I saw this car over at Lowe's and so I wanted to do a new, do a new build in price but this time we're going to do the XSE V6 it's actually the top of the line luxury model well before we get into that there's actually a few more cars there's a couple more cars I've done build and price reviews of that competes with this Toyota Camry so if you like the Camry you might be interested in, in the Kia K5 I did a build and price review of the 2021 Kia K5 in the GT line with all-wheel drive. I also did a build and price review of the 2020 Volkswagen Passat in the R line, that's the sporty trim. And I did a build and price review of the 2020 Subaru Legacy. So, after you watch this video, make sure you watch one or two of those other videos as well. And just for fun, I'll put a link down to my truck's playlist. All right, so there's actually a lot of different trim levels, a lot of different models for the 2021 Toyota Camry. You can see up here that you've got gas and hybrid models. It's worth noting that we are going to build and price a gas version of a Toyota Camry today. And so under the gas versions of Toyota Camry, and let's get back over here to the beginning. Let's start off. Let's find our base models. Our LE has a starting price of $24,970. Then you have the SE at $26,485. Uh, then you've got the Nightshade edition of that, which gives you, which is really an appearance package that blacks it out. They don't even charge you another $1,000 for it. It's $27,185. Moving up from there, you've got the XLE. And these are all four-cylinder engines, mind you. The XLE is your first one, first one into leather-trimmed uh, seats, front seats, it says. Leather trim, multi-stage heated front seats, so maybe the back seats don't get leather. At any rate, if you want leather interior, you got to get the XLE. It's $29,870. And then there's the XSE. It's, uh, it's more sporty than the XLE. And you get the 19-inch wheels. You get a sport tune uh, suspension. You get the, the dual chrome exhaust finishers. And then if you really want the, you know, the speedy one, then you jump into the TRD. The TRD jumps off the, the V6 here. Now you got the V6 engine, the three and a half uh, liter V6 engine, uh, 32,185. Like I said, I did the 2020 build, and they haven't really made any changes to the Camry uh, in 20, since since last year. So if you're really interested in, in the TRD, make sure you go take a look at my uh, 2020 video on the TRD specifically. Uh, then you got the XLE V6, right? This is more this. It's just like the regular XLE, but now you got the V6 engine. It's thirty-four thousand nine ninety-five, and then you have an XSE V6. That's your top of the line. That's your absolute top of the line. This is the one we're going to build in price on the channel today. It gives you the JBL audio, the panoramic sunroof. You got the 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 V6 engine. 
the nine inch touchscreen. Uh, ironically, the XLE and the XSE both say the same thing for their selling points. Uh, they seat five. The V6 gets 22 miles to the gallon in the city, and it gets 32 miles to the gallon on the highway. So there are a lot of exterior colors. Definitely a lot of exterior colors for the 2021 Toyota Camry here. We can look at it from all different exterior angles. I like it. I actually really like the ones with the two-tone roof. I really like the black roof with the alternating color on the bottom half of the car. This one's Celestial Silver with the midnight, uh, with the roof, with the black roof and rear spoiler. Here we've got it in solid Sonic Red, Sonic uh, solid Ruby Flare. We've got a midnight black. Super white, wind chill pearl, celestial silver without the black, and then we got the pre dawn gray mica. Then we've got what color is this? A galactic aqua, not attractive. Uh, we've got this blueprint. I don't, that color just, it just doesn't do anything for me. And then we got these last uh, three two tone colors. We've got the ice edge in midnight black, and that totally looks like a TRD color because it. It's totally changed all the spec and trim. Note it sometimes that manufacturers like Toyota, Hyundai, uh, things like that, sometimes depending on your trim level, some colors are and aren't available. At any rate, here they're showing the TRD uh, again with the, uh, the wind chill pearl and the black roof. And then here, this might be an XSE. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's showing the supersonic red with the black roof. Oh, it's worth noting. These are got to be the fuel economy numbers for the four-cylinder. So the four-cylinder is going to get 28 miles to the gallon and 39. I'm sorry, 28 miles to the gallon in the, in the city and 39 miles to the gallon on the highway. Let's check out these gallery images. But instead of clicking on the images like this and making it like a big picture and it's taking forever, let's just kind of, because all the pictures are kind of rather generic, let's just kind of scroll down the page we can see the, the, the different shots and angles of the Toyota Camry uh, for 2021. I can tell you right now that some of these pictures are from last year, okay? I still remember doing the 2020 a little bit. And some of these gallery images are carryovers. And Toyota's not the only manufacturer doing stuff like that, mind you. Uh, so, yeah, here's the gallery images for the exterior. Now let's check out the interior. Okay, here's the gallery images for the interior. Here's a optional heads-up display. I can see that. Uh, they got a lot of TRD stuff, the shifter stuff, showing shots of the infotainment screen, right? You got the optional 9-inch infotainment screen. I see the JBL audio speakers there. And, yeah, uh, the seats look great. I like the shape. And, uh, yeah, I think we've seen all we needed to see for the uh, exterior and interior photos. Now let's go check the features, and then we'll do our build. So Toyota has a lot of features listed. They've got performance features, exterior features. They've got TRD features, which we're going to skip over, because that's going to be specific features of the TRD. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll go over those real fast, because there won't be many. Uh, technology features, design, interior, uh, hybrid uh, the Toyota Safety Sense, that's their standard safety technologies. And then there's other safety and convenience features. These will be the ones that are optional for you. Uh, so let's jump into it. Let's start off with performance. Okay, performance features. There's the available all-wheel drive. We know this. The all-wheel drive can send 50% of the torque to the rear wheels for more grip. Uh, and so when it's sensing slippage to the front wheels, that's when it does that. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got the impressive four-cylinder and V6 engines. Uh, the four-cylinder is a two-and-a-half liter. The V6 is a three-and-a-half liter. There's also a hybrid. Remember, we, we saw that when we saw the configurations. There are hybrids, uh, which is really a gas and electric uh, combination powertrain. Uh, we've got the suspension. Camry says they have a, a sophisticated sport tune suspension, and that's standard on the SE and XSE grades, which works out because we're doing the XSE with the V6. So we're doing a very sporty one, not TRD sporty, but sporty. Um, here's the direct shift eight speed transmission. There's three modes of uh, three driving modes, three available driving modes. You've got uh, eco normal and sport uh and yeah that seems to be it for the performance features let's move on 
All right, let's talk about exterior features for our 2021 Toyota Camry. Uh, they're talking about the metallic front grille with the chrome accents. Uh, there's an available, yeah, and that's there's an available sport mesh inserts. Uh, there's standard by LED headlamps. Uh, the XSE has LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, uh, which is great. So we're doing the XSE, and so that works out really good. You got the Camry SE in the Nightshade Edition. It's an appearance package. Uh, gives you 18-inch black wheels, window trim, everything that might have been chrome or shiny. Any of that kind of stuff is now dark. That's 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 the easiest way to explain that. Uh, sleek roof line and front end design. The Camry is very attractive. Normally not my kind of car. The Honda Accords and the Toyota Camrys, but boy, both. Have been making, have restyled their cars, and they look great. This XSE does have a nice, powerful stance. Uh, it's wide. It's got a low roof line. The two-tone paint really helps with, with, with the, with the visual on that, and it's very nice. And here they talk about the, the sport mesh grill and all of that. Uh, you got the dual exhaust, the available dual exhaust. So not every, not every Toyota Camry has dual exhaust. Here we can see it's an XSE trim. They show it. It's got the dual exhaust, and I think that looks great. 19-inch gloss black alloy wheels. Uh, yeah. I don't, you know, I could totally skip over the black wheels. Um, I'm not really a fan. I think they're very hard to keep clean, but that's what you get. You get the 19-inch uh, bl a gloss black alloy wheels on your XSE. And then finally for exterior features here, we've got the LED tail lights the available led tail lights they're not standard so here's the trd stuff trd stands for total racing development they've been around since 1979 apparently uh so with the trd you've got some trd 19 inch alloy wheels you've got red painted brake calipers uh the brake calipers are larger so you got large 12.9 inch uh front rotors and all of that there uh, it's got a purposeful stance here. They're just talking about the suspension. Obviously, it's going to have a better suspension under it. Uh, you're going to have a, a, a performance exhaust system with the TRD. And it gets, obviously, unique aerodynamic body styling. Uh, and then the cockpit is going to look a little bit different. They've got the soft text trim seats and all of that there. You've got TRD embroidered in the headrest. You've got accent stitching. And, yeah, let's move on. Okay, let's talk about technology features. We got the 9 inch uh, multimedia touchscreen. Uh, that's an available system. It's not standard. There's also a 7 inch touchscreen. Apparently, this 9 inch touchscreen's up positioned a little bit higher on the dashboard. Here, they're talking about the Apple CarPlay. Uh, let's see if they mention Android Auto. Yep, and then they got Android Auto. Uh, and I think that might be standard. Uh, they've got the Wi Fi connectivity. I'm not really a fan of that. Most people's phones. Ha, have the ability to uh, offer Wi-Fi, so why pay another another bill? Why have another bill? Because they're not giving this to you on the house. You might get a, uh, a starter subscription where they give it to you, but that's about it. Uh, push button start. That's an available smart key system. They call that push button start. That's pretty ex uh, self-explanatory. Uh, everybody's got an app these days. Uh, Toyota's not going to be any different. These apps can do all kinds of things. Start and stop the car, roll down the windows, uh, check fuel economy, check your fuel levels, find the, where the car is when you've parked it. They do a lot of different things, and this app's definitely going to do those. All right, let's talk about design features for the 2021 Camry here. They're talking about the red leather trim seats. Uh, yeah, the, the interior is quite nice. Um, I don't know if we're going to get the, uh, available cockpit red leather trimmed interior, but, uh, it looks pretty good. It looks good. I don't think I like the center. I like the leather along the edges. I wish it was all solid like that. I don't really like the center, but yeah. Uh, seat details. What do we got here? Uh, yeah. Updates to the interior. Uh, you got a new herringbone seat pattern on the XLE. <laughs> They're not, that's not saying much. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Here's the midnight black metallic roof and accents. You know I like that. I think that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, and so when you get the XSE, that's where you can get into that. I like that. Uh, and that seems to be the it for the exterior features. Let's go check out the interior ones. They're talking about the driver-focused design, right? That's pretty self-explanatory there. 
the infotainment looks nice, but I have to tell you that the graphics are very plain, right? If you look at the infotainment system, we're going to show it here in a second. The graphics look very plain, but it's fine. But you know, just just uh, just a FYI there, just a just a quick mention on that. Here you got the seven inch. Uh, multi-information display that's standard on the XLE, XSE, and all-wheel drive models. Uh, so you can get things like turn-by-turn -turn directions, safety alerts, all that stuff. Get your fuel economy, uh, digital speedometer, and then they got the 10-inch color heads-up display. We got to get into that. Hopefully, the the top-tier level that we're building uh, has all that. So if not, we'll certainly option it. I love heads-up display. If you watch this channel, you know that. Cold weather packages, cool. Look, they even threw the snow on on the outside of the windows there. You got the cold weather package. They're showing the seats glowing. So it's an available package. It gives you heated seats, heated steering wheel, heated side view mirrors. There you go. And then, yeah, then they've talked about the leather-trimmed eight-way power adjustable seats. So at first they were talking about just the red leather seats. Now they're just talking about the leather-trimmed seats and that they're power seats. So you got six-way power adjustment front passenger seats. Uh, and then there's an eight-way power adjustable driver seat. So the passenger is six-way power, and the driver is eight-way power. Uh, finally, we got rear seat vents with heated ventilated front seats. Yeah, they got vents back here, and that seemed like that wouldn't be a big deal. But I owned a BMW X1 once upon a time, and it was a 40 something thousand dollar little SUV, and it didn't even have vents in the back. So, and I tell you, the people in the back, they were hurting. Either in the summer, they would have loved to have some vents to blow some AC back there. Or in the winter, they would have liked to have some vents to blow some of that heat back there. Yeah, eventually the, the vehicle would cool off or heat up, but it'd be nice to have some vents. So, yeah, you got the available individual rear seat vents. So I implore you, hopefully, you're going to at least pop for that if you're not going to get the top tier model. Here, they're just telling us about the hybrid. I was going to totally skip over this hybrid, but since I didn't skip over the TRD, it wouldn't be fair to not to skip over the hybrid. So the hybrid, you know, is an electric motor and a, and a, uh, and a gas engine, uh, and it's supposed to increase your fuel economy and all that, uh, optimal fuel efficiency, and, and, you know, you get your higher fuel economy. Here, they're talking about 44 miles to the, in the city, 47 on a highway, and 46 combined. Uh, so I guess that's better. I mean, if you're into that, then you're into that. I'm not really into hybrids. Uh, and here they're talking about the hybrid synergy drive. Yeah, so yeah, lightweight materials, which help maximize efficiency, uh, hybrid battery that's in the trunk, et cetera, et cetera. They've been doing this for 14 years and refining it. And so, yeah, like I said, I'm not into hybrids, so let's just move on. Uh, here's that Toyota Safety Sense. This is your standard safety equipment. So you got pre sa standard safety features, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. You got full uh, speed range dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, automatic high beams, roadside road sign assist. Okay, and here they have other safety and convenience features. Now, these aren't going to probably be standard. This might be your available options. Yeah, blind spot monitor, rear cross-traffic alert. This is the stuff you really want. Yeah, that standard safety sense stuff they should, we just looked at. Yeah, that's all great. This is the stuff that's the everyday stuff that you're really thinking about. And this is an available feature. Probably standard on our top-tier XSE V6. But anyway, blind spot monitor. Then you got the... Uh, bird's eye view camera with perimeter scan, okay, available feature. All these are going to be available features. Intelligence clearance sonar with rear cross-traffic braking. Yeah, rear cross-traffic alert, other people call it, other manufacturers, which makes more sense. Uh, you got the safety connect. Now, what's that all about? Oh, it's like roadside assistance, uh, emergency services, stolen vehicle locator, da-da-da. Uh, the Toyota camera has 10 airbags. Uh, and there's a no-cost maintenance plan and roadside assistance for the first two years or 25,000 miles. That roadside assistance uh, is two years and unlimited mileage. All right, well, you know what? We went through all the features. Yep, we sure did. We went through all the features. So now let's build out our Toyota Camry. Uh, what we want is the XSE V6. There it is, starting price. 35545 I can't suspect that we're going to have to put many options on this. We'll probably be looking at accessories more than anything. So let's get started. 
Yeah, one engine to be had. Okay, that engine makes 301 horsepower and 267 pound-feet of torque. I was kind of trying to figure out where that information was. Glad we can see that now. Uh, next step is colors. And what colors do we want? I'm not really crazy about any of the colors. So uh, they don't show us any two-tone color, so I guess we can't get a two-tone color. I guess I, uh, I was mistaken. I guess we cannot have a two-tone color. Uh, why don't you just give me, uh, I'll just take it in midnight black. I'll just take it all in midnight black then. With the, let's see, got ash leather, and they have black leather interior. So we're going to do black on black. Well, there's the, uh, these other colors. I didn't see these colors before. Well, let's go back and see about this exterior color here. Let's go back and see about that exterior color. I'm, I'm pretty sure that exterior color wasn't shown before. Uh, yeah, it just flipped over. You see that? It just updated because now it's showing us two different leathers. The red. So we can get that cockpit red. We can get it. Um, you know what? Maybe we might. Maybe we might. Uh, let's go back to the exterior. This is the... What color is this? This is the celestial silver with the black. How about the... Uh, what does the red look like? Uh, no. How about the white? Supersonic or the wind chill pearl? How about the white... Uh, I, let's try the red leather just because I know I've done the red leather before, but it looks cool. Let's do the cockpit red leather, uh, move on to the next step. And now we got packages. There's a cold weather package. That was cool. Uh, what's the driver assist package? Driver assist package gives you that bird's eye camera, the rear cross traffic braking. Yep. See, they nickel and dime you even on the top tier model added navigation package with options driver assist package. And navigation upgrade pack. I could, maybe we want that then. Oh, see, they keep one up in these packages. Navigation upgrade package with options. So you get the cold, so you get the whole thing. Let's go back here uh, and just get this whole package here for twenty-two hundred dollars. It gives us everything. It gives us everything. I don't like the way they nickel and dimed us on that, but okay. Uh, and then the rest of it is just truly accessories, uh, floor liners, cargo uh, stuff. Door sill protectors, things like that. Illuminated door sills, which I do like. Mud guards. What else? Quite a bit of things. They have quite uh, quite a few things. And they have TRD accessories, which are their racing accessories. And we don't need that. We don't need any of that. I did see something at the front. Let's go to the front. So there's this accessory appearance package. And lower rocker applique, door sill. Oh, we don't want that. No. Uh, all weather floor liner package. I like that for two fifty nine. We can also get the carpet floor mats, but then they have the carpet floor mat package. But I don't want the package because I still want to leave that that uh, the rubber liner in the in the trunk. So just give me these carpet floor mats for the summertime. Uh, what else? Did, did those click? I thought I saw some pop up. Carpeted floor mats. Yeah, I went to go add. Oh, there was a price change. This accessory remove. Oh, really? It's going to remove those? Then never mind. So we can't get the carpet floor mats because it's going to remove the other liners. The reality is you could just go to the dealer and get all this stuff at any time. Most of it. Uh, door sill protectors, da 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 emergency kits. I do like the illuminated door sills, so we'll just get that. And then we'll probably call it a day. Yeah, let's call it a day. Let's move on. Go to the next step, which is a summary. So it was $35,545. Now we're forty grand. It's a $40,000 vehicle out the door uh, for your Toyota Camry. Uh, for 2021, this is the top tier XSE in the V6 trim, two-tone paint, the cockpit red leather interior. Uh, yeah, it's a honey of a car. Uh, and on that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So if you found this review of the 2021 Toyota Camry XSE V6 helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.